Hi guys, so today we're gonna be talking about the time that I went to the biggest Nordic spa. So Nordic spas to me are just amazing. It is the place to go and chill. It is the place to literally get rid of your body's toxins because you get into extreme cold and then you get into extreme hot. And you know, with this Canadian weather, honestly, it was way too cold the day that I went to, but I really wanted to enjoy it and I tried to enjoy it as much as possible. So that day when we started driving it was very beautiful sunny day and it was a lot of snow and a lot of trees that made it just such a nice drive like if you are near that area i'm gonna link it down below you really have to go and get to that spot because it is really an amazing place i have you know great things to say about it and i also have very negative things to say about this place. So when you get to the parking lot, it is massive uh, <laughs> and you almost get lost to be honest, but there's a lot of space. So you know there's gonna be a lot of people sometimes. And I love the fact that when you go to that place, there's a lot of stairs and there's a lot of different areas, like a little fireplace that you can see. It kind of gives you the vibe of like, you know, smokiness coming in. Oh, I'm gonna be able to relax at these little areas and these little places. And it just makes it very nice. And you feel like you're almost going to a cottage when you are going to that Nordic spa. It is the biggest in North America. And then I was like, oh, you know, it's not gonna be that big, but listen, it is really big, you guys, it's insane. They give you two towels and they give you also a robe that you can wear with you. There's also like a little bracelet that they give you. So then you can open your locker, close it, whatever. I don't really have that much footage of that because obviously I don't want to record in the lockers. Uh, that would be kind of awkward. And then when you go outside, it is when the journey begins. The thing that kind of like put me on edge first, I could have my phone, which is, you know, not something that I was expecting because usually when I went to other Nordic spas or other spas, you cannot have your phone at all. And then we had a little experience, which is the negative experience of that journey. There's so many people that people are just grabbing your robe and then you can lose your phone very, very easily. So I had my phone for a while. I was recording a little bit, walking around. And then after that, I was like, I don't like this. I'm gonna go put my phone in my locker because a lot of people around us were losing their phones. So they just don't check the robes or people, they go there to just steal phones, I guess. And that's one thing that's really bad about this place is that it's just not great for that thing. Also, when you go on the weekend, we went on the Sunday, it is packed. There's almost too many people for you to enjoy. It is very, very loud. But if you go into a silent area, it is silent. So at least people respect these places. The places are just really nice, to be honest. There's like some cafes, there's some restaurants that you can go to. There are some VIPs that you have to pay for. Let's say a soft bath or other stuff like this that I unfortunately couldn't get into because we didn't pay for that. <laughs> but I really wanted to try to enjoy the experience and we stayed there a couple of hours the building is very big there's a lot of chairs there's a lot of different pools that you can have that you can go to different temperatures there is the cold um you know waterfall which i went under it is so cold you guys so cold i don't have video of this because at this point i didn't really have my phone when we, when we would go in the water the other thing that i love with nordic spas is that there's tea. So then you go into these little sections and then you can have some tea, relax in these beautiful, beautiful areas. And they have a lot of variety, which this one, I was kind of surprised how the tea was working since I went to another one and it worked differently. This one, you have hot water and then you can choose your tea bag and then put it into a cup. You can put sugar if you want. Let's say if you don't want to eat throughout the day and you just want a little bit of sugar to keep your energy up, this is a way to do it. And in those little areas, there is some places where you can sit and it's just so beautiful and so relaxing. Sometimes it is silent and sometimes there's a little bit of music in there, which I wish I did go into these hot areas that were very relaxing that I recorded. But at this point, I wasn't gonna have my phone the whole time and, you know, kind of ruin my experience of the place. It is really a beautiful place. I think it was just too cold for the day that I went to. And I would recommend if you're going to Nordic spas or spas in general to try to go during the week. There's some hot saunas that you go into and I forgot to remove my chain. Okay, my little chain, this one. So I had this one, this little one, and I forgot to, took it, to take it off. And when I went into that dry sauna, oh my God, you guys, I burnt myself. It was stinging so bad. So if you're going into these spas, make sure to remove your jewelry, all of them, even my Apple watch that I had, 
um, I had to go and go and remove it because it was getting really hot on my wrist and I, and I had this silicone band too. So I truly believe in the benefits of doing saunas and doing cold and hot therapy. It literally keeps you young. It makes your skin so much better for some reason. And you feel so much better from the inside and out. I feel so much healthier and it's such a serene place and it resets your body for like the next a few months I guess ahead that uh, you need your energy from. I don't know, it looks kind of crazy when I'm showing you the videos because it's so windy. <laughs> when I go to these spas, I really want to enjoy it and I'm like, oh, I really want to enjoy the hot and also the cold. So I don't want to go through the summer because I feel like it's too hot for me to go into the saunas. It's too hot to go in the hot water. So I'm like, oh, let's go into winter. And I picked the worst day ever because minus 10, minus 11 and going down, the way that it feels on your, on your feet, on your ankles, everything, it feels like the cold is penetrating your bones at this point and it's just so painful that you don't want to enjoy any of the rest anymore so I don't really have any I would say night footage the reason why is because it was so cold I couldn't handle it anymore and we had to leave um, but at night there's a lot of little lights and lighting everywhere and it's very very beautiful so I might also include footage from their Instagram and their videos from them it was an amazing experience in my opinion it was kind of expensive though I think it was $88 per person Canadian which is quite steep but if you're staying there from the morning to the night it is definitely worth it but uh, try to eat something because you can't bring food in there and you're gonna starve so um, yeah <laughs> I loved it tell me down below you guys if you love love going to spas this is one of my you know guilty pleasures going to spas and trying to take care of myself it is truly a self-care moment that i feel you know recharges me and i'm gonna go to other ones because i love trying new spas but my standards are, standards are pretty high so it's like i have specific ones that i have to go to for me to be oh my god i love this place you know so um I'm picky, I'm picky. So tell me down below you guys if you went to spas before. Do you go regularly to Nordic spas? Or do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you like when there's people around? Or you would rather, you know, DIY it with like a shower and a bath, let's say. Because you can do that too. You can do it in your home. You put some essential oils and stuff. And then you do it yourself. But that's another thing where they had rooms with like a lot of steam and a lot of essential oils. Which I feel you can kind of recreate at home with a really hot shower. And then you have some eucalyptus. Uh, on your shower and stuff like this and it kind of recreates the same thing so so I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want me to you know vlog a little bit more show you around make sure to tell me down below to like the video and also subscribe to my channel for some content every single week on beauty lifestyle reviews and a whole lot more so thank you so much guys for watching I love you guys so much and I will definitely see you in the next one bye guys